Um, but he got it. The Rebels will hustle to the line to run the hurry up offense. And the back now goes in motion. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Trying to create here on the move. Makes the catch downfield. Tackle made quickly after the catch, but moves the ball to the 12, a red zone opportunity. And the Rebels pick up first down yards to keep the drive going. On the run, it's Dixon. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has a great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Trying to run it in, the defense stops and close to the goal line, but not in. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or do they have to settle for three? Try and muscle for the first down. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. It is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line, eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. will come to the line looking to convert on fourth down. Fourth down looking to throw for it. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Ole Miss. So a quarterback who can escape and score like that, what a boost for this offense. Yeah, and quarterbacks like this who can scramble are so hard to defend because the defense is so caught up in coverage and defending the pass, by the time they realize what's happening, there's no chance of stopping him from scoring. With the PHC, they take a 14-0 lead. The kickoff team on the field now is a gets set to send this one away. And it's field and return are trying to create good field position here. Here comes the Rebels offense back out on the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. It has been a tough first half in this playoff game for this offense. They cannot get anything going through the air. Not only they down the scoreboard, but there's really nothing to build around as we get ready to go into the second half. Gonna run it. It's Thomas. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And looking for a big play here. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Well, your best player has got to make big plays in these kind of moments, and that's what happened right here with this defensive back. The offense in a tie game in the red zone, looking at points, and instead, the defense with the interception in a tie game, their offense now has the ball. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? The junior able to bring him down quickly. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They call the counter run here. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. 
Well, those counter plays are tough on a defense. The defense has got to be cap sound. You get so caught up in the base concepts. If the offense comes back with a counter play, if you're not sound with your gap integrity, you can give up a big play. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Offense appear to be confused about the snap count there. And it cost him five. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Falls incomplete. Broken up by the defender nicely that time. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. No problem. Knocks it right through. And they add to their lead. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so a touchback will start at the 25. Offense back out on the field now. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. Yeah, Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So after the incompletion, it's second down. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. On third down, he drops to throw. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And the screen doesn't produce a first down. Good work by the defense. Now it's fourth down. Now there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he can get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. Check this out. The offense still on the field, going for it inside their own 30. Needs a completion here on fourth down. Caught over the middle. It's McDaniel. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Well, that's exactly when you want to go to your little or slot receiver, right? He gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup on fourth down, has all that room to work with in the middle of the field, get him the football on fourth down, come up with a conversion, keep those sticks moving. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Damn, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback every time they drop back to throw, baby. He's picked for a third time tonight. And that's a solid return after the interception. Chris, that is back-to-back -back drives right now for this quarterback in this offense. Nothing seems to be going right. The defense is doing a good job of confusing the quarterback, who's obviously throwing the ball into coverage. They've got to make some adjustments with their attack, because right now it's not working. And the Rebels' offense is back out on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time, had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. The back behind the quarterback now in the pistol. 
quickly. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. Like the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Same tailback, another carry. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Running back has it on the screen now. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. When you talk about a huge conversion, that's third and long. It doesn't matter for these guys. They just keep going about their business. Great connection between this quarterback and receiver on that one. And now they're in business. The Rebels' offense is on the move now. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. It's a short game, but look at that defense swarm to the football. On the ready. Second and goal for the offense. Looking to score, they'll run it to the right side. They finally corral him at the one. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal. And if I'm the OC, I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A gap and try to overpower that defensive front. Turner trying to create a big play here. Here comes the UNLV offense back out there. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Sacked on heavy pressure there. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Testing the defense with a throw downfield. The deep shot is caught for a big game. This is what's so dangerous about this offense, Chris. They have the ability to put the ball in the air downfield and really stretch those safeties back. This time, they hit it for a big game. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. There's the handoff. It's a two-yard game, second and eight coming up. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. 
and the senior able to make the stop after a short game. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. Either give it when it's the right time, or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's... Touchdown, UNLV. This quarterback on fire today. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Extra point try coming down. And the PAT is good. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And the Rebels offense is back out on the field. They moved it last time but settled for a chip shot looking to find the end zone this time. Keeping it on the ground here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. So from the 21-yard line, it's now second and long. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. He's moving out of the pocket. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Pass incomplete under heavy pressure. Just got it away. Well, the defense picks the right time to get after this quarterback. Third down, critical down in distance. Do a good job of dialing things up and good coverage downfield. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. We'll see if he can make a play on this return. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. the Rebels offense back out on the field they were clicking last time great protection the pitch and catch was solid right down oh and it's fumbled the lateral goes wrong defense grabs the football it's a turnover gets some space around the 30 oh and he's in the clear down the left side can they catch him touchdown Rebels and the defense joins the party with a score that is any defender's dream. Comes up with a fumble, takes it back to the house. I can't believe the speed that this guy has to be able to score. I thought... You know, maybe go a few yards, but instead, he took it all the way to the end zone. So they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Bringing it out. It's green. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. The UNLV offense back out on the field now. First down. We're going to throw the ball. And it's incomplete, even at a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. In college football today, the quarterbacks get rid of the ball. All quarterback, watch their eyes, and try to get your hands up so when the ball comes, you can knock it away. Pitches to the back. They make the tackle, but enough for a first down. Textbook execution on the option. 
The running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, looking to throw. With the catch, it's Thomas. Brought down, but he crosses midfield to the 46. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show why he's had such a great year this year. When he has time to throw, he gets his feet set. He's as accurate as any quarterback in the country. An explosive play. They finally get him down, but the offense very near to the red zone. Offense cranking up the tempo now. No huddle. And looking to throw now on first down. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. Important second down play coming up. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. That's just not a whole lot of options here for this quarterback on the RPO. The defense give him credit. They did a nice job of sniffing it out. Wouldn't be surprised if the quarterback is second-guessing that decision of giving it to the back instead of pulling that and either running it himself or maybe making a nice throw. Heads up. The offense now operating in the red zone. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Well, it's decision time now, Chris. Fourth and short coming up, and you know they're thinking about going for this one. Likely looking at that play sheet and finding the go-to play that'll help them pick up this first down and keep this drive alive. They're thinking six points. And that is no good. And that will keep the deficit at 20. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead... He shanks it. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. Getting set. Second down play here. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and ten from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Looking for his big tight end. Catch made on the right side. That's a big gain. They tackle him at the 38. Solid gain. Nice play there. What a nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. Now it's second down here. Here comes a handoff. Solid run. Tackled at the 45-yard line. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance in a really nice game. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's Peyton. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. And the Rebels looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Looking to throw it on first down. And here comes a deep shot. The pass is intercepted. And he steps out of bounds, but a crucial takeaway. Great play by this defense. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive, and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. Here comes the UNLV offense back out there. This has been a rough first half. I'll have to regroup in intermission, but in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. It's a quick grab. 
They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark, inches away. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. The grab down the middle. It's McDaniel. The timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Catch made a lot of space now. That is a big play. Finally brought down to the 44. Now best will set up on first and ten. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. The sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. This pass rush has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. Quarterback drops back. Pulls it in. It's Thomas. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Throws it to the right. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, can you really allow this defense to dictate things? And it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Looking to pass here. Caught way downfield for a huge game. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, UNLV. What a touchdown here by this offense. I'm going to tell you something. This is what separates the men from the boys right here as a quarterback. He knows he's going to get hit. Looks downfield, keeps his eyes focused, makes the throw, takes the hit, and they get the touchdown. Beautiful. And the point after is good. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. And the fair catch, signal for and taken. Time running down, just one play left here in the half. A pop pass on the jet sweep. The game moves the ball to a 34. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. And they heave it deep downfield. Catch made down inside the 25. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Just ran away from the defense. That's playing to the echo of the whistle here in this first half. They just keep pouring it on. Why not just continue to be aggressive? It's worked out so far for them. What a big lead they've worked up now here in this first half. Well, they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. After the PAT, the lead is 20. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. All right, let's get the second half going now. The kickoff team is out there. Sure man decides to signal fair catch. And the Rebels offense back out on the field. First down. They're going to throw the football. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. 
Stopped at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. And the Rebels hustle to the line to run the hurry up. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Chris, that is textbook by this defense and man-to-man -man coverage. Nowhere to go for this quarterback. He's looking around everywhere to find an open man. By the time he figures it out, it's a sack for the defense. Second down now after the sack. Get set, get set, ready. Offense looking to throw the ball. Finds an open target on the left side. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Fires it on the move. The veteran quarterback, lucky that didn't result in a takeaway. We've just kind of gotten into the habit of seeing this offense just convert on these third downs at a rare stop. That first half, they seem to score every possession. What decision do they make here on fourth down? They'll kick it away here. Field it at the 25. Returner tackled right there. That's where they'll start the drive. Comes the Rebels offense back out on the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking, move right down the field for a touchdown. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Getting set, here's second down. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional. I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. The pass is off target. He had to get as he threw as the third down pressure works. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back to throw, he's getting ear hole. You better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And they down this one just shy of the 40-yard line. And the powerful Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. Forced to punt last time, trying to add points, build the lead right here. Fights off a defender. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Game makes it second and medium. Fire. It's an option look. Keeper for the first down and more. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. These quarterbacks today in the college game are so athletic. They can beat you with their arm, obviously. Just when you think you have them figured out, they tuck the ball and go. I'd expect this defense to put in a spy to keep this quarterback from running. Okay, ready. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Come on, set. On, Looking to pass this time. Throws to the tight end. There's a wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Rebels. And the beatdown continues. This guy is a matchup problem. You put an undersized safety who can run with the tight end, and he's going to go over top of him. You put a big, strong linebacker on him, and he's going to outrun him. Just a really tough matchup, as you saw right there. So they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more.
getting set to kick the ball off now. That one bounces through the end zone, so they'll start at the 25. The UNLV offense back out on the field now. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? They bring the heat and the blitz works. They've got it. Backed up to second and long at the 17. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been... And the protection breaks down again, back-to-back -back sacks. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? And the pass rush has got him again, back-to-back -back sacks. And that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Can he make it? They finally get him, but he found a nice lane in that return, and that means good starting field position for this drive. out on the field. And now the handoff. And they've got him at the five. Great run to set up scoring position here. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. The Rebels looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Got it. Second down and goal, upcoming. on the ground trying to power in for the touchdown tackled behind the line it's a loss of two what a great play by the defense here getting close to the goal line not only did they come up with a big stop but they send them backwards in the process they'll look to throw it on third and goal pass caught can he get in well, a quick short throw here, not able to convert for the first down. You love to see that route maybe a little bit deeper to give yourself a better chance. But they come up a little bit short. So now it's decision-making time for the coach. I'd be shocked if they didn't go for it. And yeah, the coach elects to send out the field goal unit. And it's good. And they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. After adding three more points to the lead, they're set to kick it off. Fields it just outside the goal line. And they've got the returner corralled. Oh, man. In situations like that, just take a fair catch or a touchback. Now you've hurt your offense by giving them poor field position. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Offense right to the line, playing the tempo now. Same tailback, another carry. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. And now the offense will call a timeout. Something the coach didn't like about this crucial play coming up. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Quarterback checks the defensive look, makes some adjustments. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up.
Cowboys offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Takes the handoff again. It's a fumble. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. This offense just blew an opportunity. Have a nice lead here in the second half with the football. The last thing you want to do is turn it over, and they put the ball on the ground, and now give your opponent a chance to get right back in this game. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Second down play coming up. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Under pressure, hit as he throws. Deep shot caught inside the 25. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not for a long completion. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. Hornet, Hornet. Looking to throw it from the red zone. The pocket breaking down. Got him for a sack. A big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. The sack sets up second down. This offensive line flat out cannot handle the pressure of this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of Chris, get this, seven sacks in this game so far. Looks like the QB is changing the play at the line. Lasso, lasso. Got to pick up the third and short through the air. And he's got it. Touchdown, UNLV. That's another strike from this quarterback, Kirk. He is having himself a day. Hold on here a second. The replay booth has signaled they want to take another look at this one. Well, they took a look just to confirm it, but it looks like they got it right on the field after the review. The play will stand. And now here comes the point after attempt. And there's the point after. team now set to boot this one away and he'll just take a knee drive will start at the 25 yard line and the rebels offense is back out on the field they got into plus territory last time, but the drive ended on a fumble. They got to shake that off immediately. Caught over the middle. It's Williams. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Great play call by the offensive coordinator. Outstanding job of executing by the quarterback. With the defense trying to stop the run, the quarterback felt that. Made a nice throw to the receiver. Look at this result. Some positive yards. Breaks loose at the 40. Breaks clear, end zone ahead. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And the route is on. What a long run for the touchdown. I don't know if this defense was caught sleeping or walking in mud. I can't pick which one. Maybe it's both because the running back just went right by them so easily for the big game and a big time score. Kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. The offense will start at the 25. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. 
pass is incomplete. The defense affecting the quarterback with pressure there. It's pretty simple as a defensive coordinator. When the quarterback drops back to throw, if we get pressure on him, we got a chance to slow him down and win the football game. If we don't, it could be a long afternoon. Good job here by dialing up the pressure. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Chris, I think the pressure's taking a toll on this quarterback. You can just tell the pass rush is affecting his progressions and his willingness to throw it away. Oh, and another incompletion. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. down he's throwing for it makes the catch and that is enough for a first down tackle made at the 37 that's a solid game Boy, the defense is in the right coverage here looked like they had exactly what they wanted to be able to come up with a stop here on fourth down but there's the timing between a quarterback and the receiver they knew exactly where they needed to go great timing and a first down looking to throw yet again quarterback escapes the pocket Looking to scramble now. Slides to avoid the big hit. Second down after that previous play. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but, man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Caught near the sticks. It's Thomas. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Another pick. Wow, that's the fourth tonight. Going the other way, can they catch him? At the 20. At the 10 now. Touchdown, Rebels. Wow, what a play. Defensive score. Great job here by the defense coming up with yet another play where they are just pouring it on today, dominating in every phase. They'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. They get set to kick it away. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start from the 25. the UNLV offense back out there. They're trying to recover from that last possession. They had things going, but then a pick six, a devastating play. They... Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. Short loss on the play sets up second and long from the 18. If this team can hold on today and win, this pass rush deserves all the credit in the world. They have gotten after this quarterback so many times. Really, every time the opposing offense does something positive, it feels like a sack just stops any progress. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very... Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Inside the 30. Past the 10. Touchdown, UNLV. It was a foot race, and he won it. You know the most impressive thing to me, Chris? I mean, they're not going to win this football game. I love that they're still fighting. And I think that tells you a lot about this team, the character, the culture, the way they're coached. It's not their day, but I'm just impressed that they're still battling out there. And they'll set up for the PAT. And it's good. Kickoff 
team has come on the field now to send this one away. Trying to make a play for the deep in his end zone. Tackled at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. Back in motion now. Quarterback's got it on the option. He stopped just short of that first down marker. Inches away from it. Boy, positive yards there on first and 10. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you get a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second inches. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the Rebels pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. Not your normal call in short yardage, but the toss works really well here. Big people out front being physical, pick up the first down. And there's the handoff. A gain of two yards, now it's second down and eight. Chris, this back has had a great day. They're winning the football game. I just looked at my stats. This guy's at 99 yards on the day. You can tell how badly he wants to cross the 100-yard threshold. He's been superb today. On the run, it's Dixon. They'll tackle him right at the 31. But I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Quarterback in the shotgun here on third down. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. And he's got some open field ahead. Touchdown, Rebels. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. Chris, how about the defense coming up with a huge play here? Not only the turnover, but it leads them to a score with a touchdown on this interception. Now they're trying to get back into this game. They may have a shot to make it a lot closer than what we thought. Planning up to try the extra point. Knocks it right through. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he fields it inside the 15. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. Rebels offense back out on the field. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back. He threw a pick six in the last possession. He's moving out of the pocket. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Man, they're already up big in this game, and now they're taking shots downfield. They're just looking to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football in vertical shots to boot. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. He's got a man down the middle. They tackle him, but the game moves the ball to the 36. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Zero running room stopped right at the line of scrimmage. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Here's the second down play. Handoff as they try to work the clock here. And that's a solid gain before the defense able to bring him down. Well, another nice run by this running back. He's well over 100 yards now on the game. A big part of the reason that they're going to win this football game and advance to the next round. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Grab down the middle. It's Peyton. Tackle made at the 26. Good enough for a first down. 
They bring him down, but the sophomore quarterback shows what a cannon he has. And the Rebels will line up on first and ten. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Oh, that one's picked off. He's got some room and some blockers here. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Wow, a risky call by the offensive coordinator. Playing with the lead in the playoff in the second half, throwing the football. I don't disagree with it, but now you give this defense a chance to create a turnover, and they capitalize here with the pick. Here comes the Rebels' offense back out on the field. This has been a rough game for these guys. Not much left to do but play for pride. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. And that review confirms the ruling on the field was correct, so the play will stand. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw a good pass rush there on first down. Boy, this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves a huge hole. They're not going to have any chance of coming back. And I think one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. And this pass is caught. Tackle, but first down. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Looking to throw it again. The pass rush closing in. And he just throws it away incomplete. Didn't see anybody open. Going to bring up second down. How about the defense today? They have played so well. I think the defensive coordinator put together a great plan. His kids clearly understood their scheme because they have been aggressive and attacking all game long. Looking to scramble. A well, throwaway there. Gave up on the play, but now it's going to bring up third down. I, I really feel that this quarterback is rattled at this point. He's already been sacked a number of times. I think it's affecting his timing with his receivers. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. That's reeled in. It's Thomas. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And he'll set up to throw. He's running out of time here. And the junior able to get home with the sack. This offense faces a second and 15. The O-line needs to regroup. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Chris, this offensive coordinator is going to have to adjust. We've seen hits and sacks and pressure on this quarterback all game long. They've got to find a solution to create more time for the quarterback to be able to throw the football or maybe completely overhaul and change what they're doing on offense. Almost another interception. Can you believe it? It'll bring up fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. The coach's choice to go for it does not pan out. Well, that'll do it, Chris. This defense has played well the entire game. It's very fitting here on this fourth down play in the fourth quarter. Under two minutes to go. They step up again. Give them the game ball. Of course, in the playoffs, it's survive and advance. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now the stage gets even bigger. The challenges will continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games. But you and I have been around this team all year long. So impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.